Yeah. 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 Ye
a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. So, um, what what can we get? Uh, you know, the biggest um, uh, we say bang for our buck. Is that a uh, okay? Good. So, <laughs> so where would I go first? And I think uh, so. Meredith Wilson. Do you know who Meredith Wilson is? He wrote the the Music Man musical, and he had this quote. Obviously, he's he's done more for barbershop than almost anybody. Because so many people found out about Barbershop because of the musical, The Music Man. And he has this quote, he says, uh, um, Barbershop is four, are four instruments coming into complete agreement. And I think that's so cool about Barbershop. We, a lot of times we'll sacrifice some of our amazing individu individualistic qualities for the good of the ensemble because we want to come into complete agreement. So I think the first thing I do is, um, is work on just a, a few of what I might see as some opportunities for visual and vocal unity because they are really bringing some heat. That sound, I, I think that their sound might be the hook of the quartet. There's a lot of personality and there's some great performance things going on. Musically, I think they're handling that rhythm really, really well, don't you? And I think that's the primary element of the song is rhythm, but I think their sound is their hook. And uh, I would spend just a little bit of time using that sound and unifying the visual and the vocal just a little bit. So, but this is gonna be a treat. You sound so good. I've seen them on video, but it's totally different to sit in person. So I'm really excited about this. Um, so uh, I think bookends, would you consider? Um, yes, so a common focal point is, is something I like to experiment with with quartets. There's something really powerful about having all of them looking at the exact same focal point. So that sometimes bookends are slightly across, and, uh, and, and that's really for, a lot of times, sound reinforcement. We call it cupping in, right? Do they call that here? Let's cup in a little bit, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I wanna see if we can still keep the same stance where you're at, but bring the focal point out just a bit. Uh, does that make sense? So don't adjust your, uh, where you're, because I don't want to mess with the sound at all, because it's the hook and I don't want to mess with the sound. But I'm wondering if we can take our focal points out so that we're all at exactly 12 o'clock. Um, uh, young lady just touched her glasses there. Could you wave? You're the focal point now. So that's who we're singing to. <clears throat> and there's something really powerful uh, having all four of us singing to the same recipient. And even if I got here late and I'm over here in the corner, there's something, I'm drawn into them, unifying all, everything to one spot. I wanna see if we can just tell the difference. Did you notice the bookends were just slightly off center? And that's a common thing, there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I wanna experiment a little bit and see if, see if there's any change, that if we go to a common focal point. Is that, is that cool? Let's see what happens. if you liked it. Woo. How did you feel? Did it change the sound at all for you from, from where you're at? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I can feel myself a lot more and a lot less. Interesting. How much, like percentage-wise? Just a little bit or a lot? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, uh, maybe you can, uh, with the idea of keeping the same focal point, maybe that re might require a slight shift of body. Uh, you know what I mean? So you might <laughs> want to turn just a little bit, maybe play with that just a little bit this time. Um, I don't want you to go flat, uh, straight line, but you might even need to come across, uh, just massage it out a little bit. So bookends this time, feel free to this time, uh, keep the focal point, but adjust your bodies a little bit during it and see if we might find a sweet spot during that, okay? Same time. So, 
So do me a favor, throughout this session, just mess with it a little bit. I'd like to keep the focal point at 12 uh, and just see, uh, see how that goes. And uh, but don't get stuck. <laughs> Feel free to mess around a little bit. Um, I have to say they do a great job of, and I will write this down on my sheet a lot, uh, when I see a change of thought, um, and sometimes it's just phrase to phrase, and sometimes we're lucky enough to have a connector word like end or but, that really reminds us that we need to change some inflection and change thought. They do a really nice job of doing that, um, and, and I want to ask them to do more on all of them. So what's the very first line, Helen? So there's two, right? Can we make it four? Yeah. So what's the first one? Just the, the half first. Now, some folks have to have it all. They always try to score. I think we can do a slight shift there. Some folks like to have it all. Some folks have to have it all. Have to have it all. Some folks have to have it all. Have to have it all. Have have it all. Switch. They always try to score. Switch. But if I somehow have it all, Switch. I still want something. Can we make it four without being annoying? <laughs> <laughs> and now, and I think they can be subtle in the performance category. We call these switches, and uh, they don't have to be this, this. They don't have to be big, huge switches. But I think enough that we can get a little bit of switch, just a little bit of contrast in color. So let's hear that. You're gonna, you're gonna have this. You're gonna know this intro, solid. <laughs> session, so. You can sing with us later. Yes. <laughs> So let's do that. And let me also say, I like to, now, if they were in performance, they would have walked out and they would have been taking off all, all of your love, yes? And then they would have come in and, and we go. Um, I like to, for me, especially in this kind of session, the pitch pipe is an odd switch for me. So if I'm sort of processing, I'm getting coached, once the pitch goes, I'm back. So I would ask for you to, once the pitch blows, we're thinking about those people and they're trying to score, and then, wait, what? And then, whatever the lyrics are. I actually don't know the song, so this is fun working on song. Is I mean, I know the song. I don't know the chart. Because the <laughs> intro is original, right? Okay, here we go. So let's make four, four subtle, so three switches in there. Let's see what happens. Now some Quick question. And I'm going to be tough on them. Excuse me. I'm going to be tough on them because they're the champs. Was the pitch pipe uh, on switch for them that time? No, not all of them. Because you came alive on beat one. And I want you to get used to naturally just sort of, um, uh, I won't go there. I won't say that. I might get lost. Um, yeah. Just be better. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, sometimes we have, a, I'll just say it because we're fun. In the States, one, one, a coach friend of mine, he calls it resting pitch. Face. Yeah. Resting pitch face. Because some of us, many of us are such perfectionists, we hear the pitch and we go, <laughs> <laughs> and then we go, so, and then we go in, right? <laughs> but I think sometimes we need to default, we have to have a default face. We're all thinking, barbershop requires a high level of brain activity. <laughs> but it'll be outside, um, we don't want to see that work, we don't want to see that thought, we just want to see that there's no place else you'd rather be than here with all of you singing this music. So I'm going to challenge them to have that default ready to go. The pitch pipe is the on switch, and we take off from there. Let's do it. Improve the sound. Too. Subtle switches. It did improve the sound, and that's my favorite part when that happens. Um, it's all connected. Yeah, we actually heard an inflection change, a vocal performance inflection change on each one. Um, so I'm going to ask just one more time, and I want you to think ahead on each of those switches. So the switch doesn't happen on the switch. The switch happens a beat or two before, especially if we're holding a thought, and we have a couple beats, and then we think. If we can look the part before the spot, so this is a high B plus concept. 
But to think ahead and show it before it happens is an A-level concept. And this is an A-level quartet. So let's leave no doubt. <laughs> Last time through the intro, let's grab it. <coughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Shots fired. Wow. And I will say this too. I usually say you Safety. can't look the same before and before the pitch and after the pitch. The pitch changes you. So even if you have a great default face like so, yes, you have to do something different when the pitch comes. So let's see what she does. Ready? <laughs> 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 that was really funny. <laughs> now some folks have to have it Switch. all They always try to score Switch. But if I somehow had it Switch. all I'd still want one thing more Okay, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, performing through breaths. Because uh, sometimes we'll, we'll absolutely be engaged. You don't do this, by the way. But some, uh, some folks will be completely engaged and they'll sing, and then they'll breathe, and then they'll come back in again. <laughs> they literally let the audience go on every breath. Every single breath, they're just, and then they bring them back again. I'd like to say, let's bring the audience closer on every breath. Every time you inhale, you want to bring the audience closer rather than let them go. And what the think ahead concept did was they filled the gaps uh, of those breaths with the thought, which is total A level. I mean, absolute A level. And I'm loving the sound just continues to, I mean, not only are we singing it a few times, but we're getting so much color and personality and human. It's like sometimes we just want to be as clean as possible. We want the sound to be as perfect, but we also just want it to be human. You know, the, the audience will forgive some slight technical errors if you make a difference in their life they'll forgive that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, one more time, and just focus on every time you inhale, you're bringing the audience closer, we're thinking ahead, but I think we're ready to move on. I think we're, I think we're ready to go. Last time, here we go. Rhea. texture change from the intro to, to this. So um, ultimately the performance category, where we're heading as a category, we just want to see what we hear. So if we hear a musical change, we'd like to see it as well. We just want to have everything, like, a, like Meredith said, complete agreement. We also want complete agreement in our categories. We never want to do one thing that makes one category happy. We want to find a way to do something that makes all three categories Say, oh yeah, stars and smiley faces on the score sheet, right? So I'd like to ask for, Sophie's got this really cool bass pickup into, uh, into that. If we all could just slightly shift, even shift our weight from one side to the other, or just reflect some slight change so that we can see a physical change going into that musical change. And then when we land on that verse, it, it looks a little different. Now we don't have to stay there the whole time. But if we can see a change and then we hit that, and then slowly over the course, I think our bodies will adjust during that verse. But let's do one more time through the intro and let's see the transition and see how that looks. I'm excited to see what they do. Now some folks have to have it all. They always try to score. But if I somehow had it all, I'd still Yes, please applaud. Yes, please. Um, uh, through it all, 
rhythm is like the most important thing because that's the primary element. So we want to make sure that we keep honoring, uh, honoring the meter. So all of our breaths, all of our embellishments, uh, all of our repeats, all of our swipes, I like to say they feed the meter. That's what we want to keep feeding the meter. And, uh, and they do a pretty good job of that anyway. So I just want you to be aware of that. Uh, whenever we have any kind of embellishment or breath, it just feeds the meter, so that's great. I like the slight body shift. We didn't need anything major, but just a slight body contrast from the intro to the verse I thought really helped all of it come to complete agreement. Would you agree? Yeah. Cool. Now, the next thing I write on my score sheet, uh, whenever I hear anything like, yeah, or oh, wow, or ooh, what do you have in there? There's a yeah. yeah. There's a yeah, and then there's a ooh, whoa, or something. Dude. Up at the penthouse. <laughs> Woo-hoo. <laughs> Woo-hoo. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't typically say that in everyday conversation with people. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. I can't, no, I don't. I just don't. So um, I just want more. So if I don't see any contrast, um, I'll write that on the score sheet, and I'll write react, question mark. Uh, you know, there was no English... There was no word in the English language that could describe how we felt, so all we could do was say woohoo. So we gotta bring that, you know? And um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and I think, I think visually there was something, but vocally, I want a little bit of, uh, a little more interest. And it's not always, it's not always that we go, oh, woohoo. Sometimes it's woohoo, you know? We don't always go up and out for those moments. Sometimes we go in. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think our initial reaction is always to go out. Oh, you want to have that word have impact? I go this way. But sometimes it's whoa, goes this way. Uh, so I call it compression. So sometimes words of emphasis will go this way rather than that way. So you just got to talk that out. So, so we've got two. We've got whoa. A yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got a yeah. I, whoa is usually a good guess. But, uh, <laughs> we've got a whoa and we've got a woo. Um, I also really like that visual of, of the up to the penthouse and then just enjoying it. And then the woohoo brings us back down, doesn't it? Yeah. I think? Yeah. yeah. I would enhance that because it's really just natural. I mean, that's low hanging fruit for a visual, right? And we don't have to go, oh, oh, you know, but just a slight up, enjoy it, and then the woohoo brings us back down. Mess with that a little bit. Can we start right at Sophie's base pickup? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Three can look as good as Sophie sounds on that bass pickup. <laughs> you know, they're taking a slight break, a slight break, and they have to look as good as, or Sophie has to sing worse. <laughs> Those are the two options. It's a trap. Because they need to look as good as they sound, right? So here we go. That's the best it's been. So that's great. <laughs> if you can look like Kudoopie Doo with just your eyes, that'll be A plus. So let's keep doing that. That's wonderful. Here we go. <laughs> like you haven't heard that before. <laughs> uh, so it's a duet. Cool. Yes. And I think those can be very, uh, it's sort of instrumental, yeah? It's like an instrumental thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. I think sometimes when instrumental lines are sung with too much quality vocal, I think it sounds funny. I think sometimes we need to go, we just need to sound instrumental, you know? So I think we can do that. And I think, I think it's cool. Sophie did it once and then we had it. Uh, do you ever all do it together? The do we do we do so? Do it right so. at the end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 one in. yeah. Uh, out of the penthouse and the view, did that look okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. Was it A or B plus? Yeah. B plus. I think it was A. I think it was pretty. 
We give it a minute, eh? Let's see what happens. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what happens next. Oh, um, after the Badoopy Doo, then what happens? Oh, that's a good one. Ring. Do we do we ring the NG on that? Ring. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. Make sure that that's forward. Sometimes the NGs can be back or tall. I think it should be GQ's pretty forward, right? Yeah. Ring. They were here last year, weren't they? Yeah. Love it. Yeah, they were. Um, yeah. Oh, when you won. Did you do this when you won? No. Oh, that would be good. Is it new? It doesn't sound new. It's just one show. <laughs> well, let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, keep that NG forward, and then is it you with the GQ or is it everybody? Cool. Here we go. It's funny, when they bring the visual support, it's like when they don't do it, it's a big red flag, you know? So I, I guess if we're gonna look as good as we sound, we have to do it all the time. Which I think only, and I do believe this is the performance category, that performance category should never be your highest category. Because performance category should always drive music and singing higher. So I think that's the point of performance category. If you ever feel like in, in a, in a in an effort to improve your performance scores, you're sacrificing singing or music, change what you're doing with performance. Like if a visual plan is, is getting in the way of singing or music, it's not the right singing plan. We just wanna see what we hear. So make sure that any gestures you're doing, any visual choreography, anything that you're doing has got to enhance music and singing. How's that, is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have any of you ever been in a group where the performance plan got in the way of singing? <laughs> we all have, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. And, 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 but quite honestly, I think that's some of the, the evolution of the performance category. I think maybe back in the day, we actually required some extra stuff, you know? We, we expected a, uh, a, a high detail choreography plan that may or may not fit the, the music or singing, but we almost just needed it to check some box. That box has been removed. If you have it and you bring it, we'll celebrate it. But don't feel like you need to bring some uh, big visual plan. Is that, does that make Yes, good. That's, that's where the performance category is headed. So, and we're pretty excited about that. We're basically not eliminating that, we're just adding. We're saying if you want to bring it, bring it. We'll evaluate it and we'll celebrate it. But don't feel that you need to bring some extra stuff. Just honor the music. That's all we ask, honor the music. Same spot, here we go. Of the song. 
It doesn't have to be a volume thing. Sometimes it's diction, sometimes it's inflection. Um, I would ask, before we do that pass one time, harmony parts saying G, Q, U, can we even fine tune that from G, Q to U? Can we even uh, focus that U even more? So it's not G, Q, U, but it's G, Q, U? I think so. Uh, just emphasize it a little bit more, okay. visually and vocally, because um, she gives this lyric after. Dreams can come true. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just want something, and maybe just enhance the vowel. However well you're ringing it, ring it more. <laughs> and be deliberate about it. Cool? And then we give emphasis to the title of the song, and we'll move to the next verse. Cool. Yeah. How are they doing? Are they doing good? Yes. Yeah. 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 You're remembering good. life. They are. They're doing good. <laughs> But um, yeah, <laughs> we're singing barbershop, so we have a little bit of license for cheese, uh, you know. Um, I, I just think I, uh, especially on the do 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 the bell cord out of it, I think we should need to react and then release out. I just a little bit more. Um, GQ's got a lot of attitude and inflection. They're Baltimore girls, so it's kind of a rough town. <laughs> <laughs> They're dear friends. I hope you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think they'd love it, uh, I, and I think you need to a little bit more emphasis on it, a little bit more reaction, and then just, because uh, the audience, it's just, just a great line. Every time we, we hear it, we, we react. Cool. Um, I'm going to ask for this time uh, also a little bit more up to the penthouse, and then a little bit more enjoying the space you're in, and then the woo-woo brings you back down. Yeah? I think it's good. I think it's really good. But I think that moment could be just a unifying, and um, I don't think we need to have a bunch of unifying moves, but uh, a common gesture like that one I think will have some impact. So just a little bit more, and I think follow Helen when she goes, and then she, you do that. You, you definitely go up to the penthouse, and then you, you look around and just enjoy like how amazing it is, and then you react to how amazing it is. So if we could all unify with her just a little bit more, I think we'll be good to go. And then moving on, can I pile something else on? Okay, good. What's the line about green? You're just turning green. Yeah. Got it. Years I've envied, just turning green. Got it. I thought it had something to do with a, a metal or a green ribbon or something. I didn't know. No, it's a, it's a phrase here. If you're turning green, you're jealous. Well, you're envied green. Mm. Okay, good. Can you show that a little bit more? Just a bit more diction and a little bit more visual support. Whatever that means. Can you look green? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Let's catch that penthouse. Let's react a little I, bit more on GQ. Right and let's head into the second verse. Cool. Oh, by the way, the emphasis on the, the title of the song I thought was really great. Yeah. Yeah. It just brought it all together before we, we head to the second verse. That was really masterful. Last time, here we go. You know what? 
I thought to ask for this, sorry, mm -hmm. two times I thought to ask for this. Can you give a little bit more reaction to a million? Mm. Cool. Right now it's like, it's a million. I want to be a million. Just a little bit more emphasis on a million. If it was, if it was a tenor, I wouldn't. I wouldn't react, but a million dollars, I work in fundraising. A million dollars is a lot. Yeah, yeah. And when I ask someone for a million dollars, I might play it cool like, I'm just looking for a million dollars. <laughs> but inside I'm going, ah! <laughs> Here we go. Some good reaction on the you, ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you do more? Yes. So one of the one of the four. It's I'd have nothing if I didn't have you. You, ooh. <laughs> so I don't think it's you and you. I think it's you, you, ooh, ooh, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> is, it, is it multiple people or is it one person? And during it, you go, oh my gosh, I can't even say you. I can only go, ooh. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool, too. <laughs> I didn't get that. You're going to each other. Yeah. You, you, ooh, ooh. We do that at the end. We do yeah. like the proper, like, pointy. Oh, good. Oh, that last one. Yeah. That yeah, right you just did. No, no, no. Right, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, right at the end, we okay. do a whole bunch of ooh, ooh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I thought that totally worked. But this one? What are we doing for this one? This one, we don't really do anything. We're just all, our kind of, our thought process for the whole thing is that this Russell's about us. This, this is what? The, the, the song is not about like a special person. Yes. This is elsewhere. It's yes. about you. It's about me. You plural. And you. Use. Yeah. Use guys. Use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we can react in, maybe we all just react you, 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 you to each other. I don't know. Um, you said we're not doing anything right now, and I agree. So, uh, teasing, we have rapport now. So, let me also say, coaching, I wouldn't have said that in the first 30 minutes. <laughs> we have rapport, so I could say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's because, and, and I have another coach who says this, and by the way, a lot of coaching is just stealing what you learn from coaching from all your coaches. Yeah, so. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have nothing original to say. <laughs> and we're taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> so this other coach says, uh, one of the toughest things is to follow yourself. You have to follow yourself. That's tough sometimes. Because when you lay down that first verse, some incredible high-level, A-level connection to the uh, honoring the music in the audience, what do you do in the second verse? Mm -hmm. You have to do more. You have to follow yourself. You can't not in the second verse. So I would just, I would just do a little bit more on you. Can we pick up one more time through there? And then we have to move on. If I stop you, keep going. <laughs> Here we go. By the way, that penthouse room with the view, ooh, ooh, it was A level, all of it. Thank you. Let's pick right up with that first. 
universe. They're doing it. Yeah. They're just doing it yeah. now. Yeah. Cool. Really? Oh, really? The Yugu Oot was great. Everybody did their own thing. I thought the uh, the green mm -hmm. bit was yeah. nailed. Yeah. Yeah. You all did something uh, with 90% of it came from here, yeah. which gave us a fantastic sound inflection, which was unbelievable. Um, what happened right after the the green? Can you give us some more peachy peen? Okay, good. Like, if you were from like Southern California, like you're peachy peen. I don't know, something like that. Or like a valley girl, I guess I was going for. Do you know what a valley girl is? Yeah, yeah. 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 what? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. 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 So maybe not that. <laughs> now that I've thought about that, wow, that's a horrible idea. Peachy peen, yeah, and then what's after peachy peen? Well, it was like heaven. Great, that was awesome. Oh, arm and arm, when you say arm and arm, you don't have to do the arm and arm thing, but it's definitely like a happy place for you, you know? You don't have to show the audience the arm and arm. You can, but I think we just, you just need to go, oh, there's no place else I'd rather be. Then what? I must admit it, I'm telling you true. I must admit it. Thank you, always come through. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, I wish I had a girl say that to me. One time. Oh, Sean, oh, yeah. you Stick around. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? <laughs> let's do that second verse. Let's do that second verse. Let's catch the green, the peachy keen, all that stuff, and let's yeah. see what happens next. It's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, yes? we start in unison. Yes, of course. I feel like it's probably quite good by base. Yeah, yes, I, I think so, too. <laughs> I think it's me. I've heard it two times, and it's it's not as good as everything else you do, and it's and it's uh it's an enhancement. So we actually want it to be better than everything else you do. So we have to find a way to. And I think Sophie becomes the lead on the first two beats. So you might have to catch your breath in there, Sophie. I don't know, but I think that we all find your sound, and then we peel off and roll out. And I actually think we might roll to a brighter spot during the. Can we just hear? Or can we start right at the the unison? So can you, like, if the sound was like this, then you by my side, I side, I side, I always be a blue. Yeah. yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> you when you're by my side, I'm never ever blue. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah. We do that all the time. <laughs> That's a Mark Hale. I'll just tell you, I told that from Mark Hale. <laughs> yeah, so it's a mobile just from here, yeah, I like and, and we just lead right in, up out into a brighter spot until we get ooh together. But what happens after that? Let's find out. Okay. Can we start right from there? That's fine. So Sophie, you're kind of driving that first, and then we all peel off, roll forward, hit the ooh, and go on. Great. Let's do it. Cool. And this is why I love it, because now we go back to our sound our Avalon sound. We roll forward, we hit that bright, brassy ooh, and then we go right back to Avalon sound. Make sense? Let's do it again. It's okay, by the way. It's, you know, rule, exception. I think the rule should be out, but there's always an exception to cheat in. So don't feel like that's a hard rule. You can never, because we love the rapport, you know, when we check in. We love that occasionally we find another focal point. Just make sure you don't default to 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Right? But we're default, our default is, is 12 o'clock. Um, there was something in there. I think we just need the same amount of emphasis on some of these things. Like, what's this lyric we just hit about? Yeah. yeah. And I think that almost looks like how we looked when we were walking arm in arm. That's good. Then where does it go? One without the other don't mean nothing to me. Don't mean nothing to me. Nothing to me. Great. So just do that. <laughs> Can we start right there? Or you want to do the peel off again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought Sophie's transition into that was perfect, by the way. Yeah. Yeah? Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Which did you do, Sophie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I don't know, but I made sure that you was nice and I sort of let you did. do whatever it was going to do. And Perfect. Then... <laughs> I think that's the way to do it. Authentic. That's the one? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Yep. So we've equal, uh, the top three parts will all be equal. 
within reason. <laughs> trio match yeah. Yeah. to the tenor was smoking hot. That was incredible. Um, should we do, oh, oh, and I just, there wasn't a lot of stuff. It was just word emphasis and just natural human reaction on the whole next line. I thought that was, I wouldn't do anything extra there. I really wouldn't. I thought that was just appropriate. Um, is it easiest to do that line one more time or can you pick right into your solo? Where do you want to start from? Uh, say it again. Yeah. Peel off one more time? Yeah. When you're by my side, I'm never ever blue. You and me together, well, that's how it always should be. One without the other, don't mean nothing to me. Nothing to me. Yes. Back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sexy. Uh, I want a little bit more of the trio. <laughs> it's not just Helen coming back in, but the three of them receiving her back in, and now they're back, and now they're a group. So just a little bit more visual support and framing when she comes back. Okay. Cool.
like, and I just wanted to, and you're involved in this, and any questions, but also um, observations too. So not just questions, any questions, observations, any thoughts, did I miss anything? Um, and you might say, well, Sean, you didn't get the thing with the tuning or the thing with the thing. You just have to prioritize. You only have an hour, right? So um, in a debrief, you could then talk about, hey, just, just a mention about this or that, but um, I, I had someone shadow me once. He's like, why didn't you say anything about that? And I'm like, well, I just didn't have time. You know, you can't, you can't get to everything. So, um, and I think we, we were pretty, uh, with the exception of one or two things, we were pretty focused on at least one lens. It was really performance-based, I think, for most of the time. But it was a thrill to see the music reinforcement and the singing improvement throughout. And all we did was talk about really performance-based stuff. Did it feel okay? You're like, no, I want to leave. Get me out of here right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You had a question. Yeah, I guess we're talking about alignment. Because it's not what the alignment of the That's our instrument. We can't really compromise it at all. And I think that's why initially I said, let's get at the at a common focal point and then adjust, uh, and then and then find that sweet spot because we don't want to compromise anything that would close out resonance. So that does win. So I would say ultimately I would prefer to have them at a common focal point. If if it's impossible for them to find a spot where they can do both, I think vocal track wins. But I think that there's at least an experiment there to find. Is that fair? Yeah, because I'm a big believer in that. Uh, but I think there's a way to do both, and I think every individual instrument is a little different, so I want them to play with that a bit, and it might be, um, we all have high definition uh, video cameras in our pockets now, so <laughs> you might wanna just sing to the video and, and, and just watch, so you can see, you can, you, you can feel how it feels, but you can also see how it's coming across until you can find that. And, and, and ultimately, you might or might not find that spot. But I would say vocal track wins every time. Cool? What, what I like is, my... is um, how this session really just concentrated on focusing on the meaning of the lyric and enhancing the lyric each time with a vocal, uh, visual, with a visual link. And the sound took care of itself almost every time. And we know that happens more often than, than ever now. If we focus on the performance. The sound follows it a very, very often the case now, and that's, that's been happening here, so they haven't had to be thinking about, oh, that didn't go well, or alignment's gone to heck, or, yeah. you know, it, it just all moved together. I'm so happy. Really that's like the goal. Thanks, really like That's the goal. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, please. Uh, I love how responsive you are. That's quite impressive that you remembered pretty much every um, single thing. They're so said. smart. It's they're so quite, and mate, You're just <laughs> on it. It's amazing. Uh, one see, question see I did... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be making notes. Don't worry. Um, when you have, when Helen has her solo, um, I noticed that Boo was looking at Helen, but the other two were looking out. Good. And does that matter? And when do you have the connection with the audience, or when do you focus totally on agree. the solo? How do you keep that connection? Yeah, I didn't going? catch that. Thanks for catching that. Um, I, I would, I would just pick one or the other. And, does and it matter? Like it wasn't distracting, yeah. but as in, does and it? And I say it would, and I would just pick a rule, and then, and then, and if she does something cool, I want you to be able to check out, you know, what she's doing. But like, let's all say either we're all gonna look at Helen or we're all gonna look out. My initial is always to go to the recipient of the message and not the singer. So my, my reaction was, would say to go here, but leave yourself the out. If she does something really cool, you can check out and go, hey, that was cool. You know, don't ignore her. <laughs> so I would take the focal point out and be aware of what she's doing. But that would be another video exercise. Do you ever video your rehearsals? Me too, yeah. We, we actually sit down, we record it, and then we sit down and watch it together right away. Because sometimes it's too late when you record it and send it out and upload it, two weeks later you're like, oh, I didn't even know you looked at me, I, I would've looked at you. And, uh, <laughs> so we sit down and we watch it in real time and then we record it again. And it's just such a great resource to do it yourself. I can tell you do because you look great. So that's awesome. Yes, did I answer your question in there? Yeah. Good. Anyone else? We're like right on time, so this is awesome. Um, thank you for your time. I thank love you. doing this. This is so fun. And yeah. I'm, I'm glad we had this opportunity with this fantastic quartet. <laughs> <laughs>